Good evening everybody and once again welcome back to the channel and in today's video I want to talk about SQL Glot. Uh, I just came to know about this and I thought it's pretty interesting and a lot of data engineers could benefit from this. So without wasting any further time, let's dive into SQL Glot. SQL Glot is a node dependency SQL parser, transpiler, optimizer and engine. It can be used to format SQL or translate between 20 different dialects like DuckDB, Presto, Trino, Spark, Databricks, Snowflake, and BigQuery. It aims to read wide variety of SQL input and output syntactically and semantically correct SQL in the targeted dialects. Uh, it is very comprehensive uh, generic SQL parser with robust test suit. It's also quite performant while being written in pure Python. Uh, you can easily customize the parser, analyze the query, traverse expression trees, and programmatically build SQL. Syntax errors are highlighted and dialect incompatibilities can also warn or raise depending upon configuration. However, it should be noted that SQL validation is not SQL glot goal. So some syntax error may go unnoticed. Now let's take a look at couple of example provided on the GitHub page. As you can see over here, we import the library SQL Glot. And here the author has given an example of an SQL query, which is for DuckDB. And we want to output the high format. So here you can see in DuckDB, we would say select epoch underscore milliseconds. And then here we say read as DuckDB. So we are telling that, hey, it is a DuckDB query and write as a hive. So as you can see in the output, we got uh, the query which is compatible for hive. One more example that the author has given is for, uh, you know, SQL Glot can even translate the custom time formats. So here you can see in this example, uh, we say select strf time, right? We provide in the value and the format, right? We say it's a format for DuckDB and write it into hive. And here you can see in Hive, we use the word date underscore format, and it basically, uh, you know, converted the qu query uh, from DuckDB to Hive. Another cool thing that I basically liked about SQL Glot is this this one right here. So uh, one can even interpret SQL queries using SQL Glot, where tables are represented as a Python dictionaries. So as you can see, right, you know, you you said you know you have three tables: sushi, order items, and orders, right? We provide in some data over here and then we call the execute method. We put in the SQL, right? And then here you can see the output, right? So pretty cool, right? So you can also do that. Now, of course, to explore more, uh, you need to come and, uh, you know, read more documentation. So I strongly encourage you to read more about uh, SQL Glot. And if you have any questions, uh, they do have a Slack channel also that you can join and learn more. So that's it for the video. Hope this was informative. I'll leave all the resources in the description section below and I'll see you in the next video.